Young Capricorn. Thank you to everyone that's like, shared, subscribed. If you guys have purchased the reading or if you've donated to my page, I truly appreciate you. Thank you for being patient with me. I know I've been out of pocket. I've um, been dealing with some things. So thank you for your emails and the concern. I appreciate you all. This energy can be masculine or feminine. Uh, so place it on whatever side you need to. Okay. And what do I need for Capricorn, please? And let's see. Okay. Okay, somebody that has an issue with commitment is coming through. Thank you, Spirit. <sighs> okay, so someone may not like to be in committed situations, although they may like to have people committed to them. That's what I'm feeling. So in other words, um, I'm getting like a poly type of situation or someone that's open to a poly situation. We have an open relationship. I'm not totally fully committed to just you, um, but I do have this connection with you and I'm able to have other connections with other people. I feel like someone lives their life uh, like this or they try to put themselves in situations where they have this type of lifestyle. Uh, this person can have a jealous streak. They may ride by someone's house to see what's going on. Um, if someone is not returning their calls or their texts. Um, I also feel like if someone is a prospect to them or someone that they feel they could see themselves having some sort of union with, they want to keep an eye on them or they want to see how they move to see if they would be a viable candidate for their type of lifestyle. Um, that's not going to be for everybody, but that's what's coming through. Um, this person was hurt in the past, and this is a person that's pulling on your energy, Capricorn. I just need to say this, or this is your energy, so put it on whatever side. Um, I have someone here that is um, stuck on their ex. Now, this is what it is. Uh, this person has these commitment issues because uh, an ex did something to them. And uh, instead of allowing themselves to go through the motions of being able to connect with people on a deeper level, they do everything in their power to avoid it, okay? Um, this is a very toxic type of energy uh, to where they're, they're doing whatever they need to do, whether this is seeing other people or investing in other people, uh, whatever it is they need to do to stay disconnected is the energy that's coming through, um, right? And someone may have said, you know, I understand that you move like this, uh, but I don't want to move like that. And since you're going to continue to move like this, this is not something I can do, right? So this person is saying, hey, I'm doing work on myself to come back to you. I do want to come back to you. Um, you know, even though someone may have walked away from this person and their energy. Um, so this person is trying to figure out how to reconnect with a person that may have said, you know what, I'm not doing this shit with you. I'm not going to be here with you. And I'm not going to allow you, you know, to, uh, to have me in a bunch um, to where you have choices uh, or, or, or options. I'm not going to be your option. So this is the energy that's coming through. Uh, guys, so let's see what else I have here. Do I need Capricorn? Okay. Thank you. Anything else? All right. So someone here may be a little bit more religious and may be in a religious uh, background. Uh, this may be a person or someone here coming through this energy it could be one that goes to church services. Um, they're in a social or, or community, social, uh, church community. Um, so things may look a certain way. Someone may have seen uh, someone that uh, or may have been dating someone that was not in the churchly type of atmosphere or not in the Christian way, all right? Someone could have said, you know, I don't see myself being committed to one person. I only see myself uh, being uh, in, in a, a poly type of situation. I understand where you come from and how you were raised, but this is not something uh, that I want for myself, okay? I also see that this made someone very un unclear or confused about what they wanted. They may have been getting shadiness from people that were looking at the situation from the outside, 
looking in, um, people not knowing, right? And a lot of times when we're in church environments, when people like to gossip, stuff, stuff of that nature, they may have been judging a situation uh, from their point of view. Intuitively, someone um, knows this and knows what I'm saying is true right now uh, about their reception and how they felt like they were being received in this type of environment. Um, Spirit is saying, yeah, it had nothing to do with your faith, nothing to do with your unity. You're still whole. It doesn't mean that something is wrong with you, that this person wanted to choose a different type of a lifestyle or that they moved a different way. It says nothing of you, okay? Because what's coming through is that someone here could have felt like, you know, well, what the hell did I do wrong to where I always keep meeting these people, you know, that don't want the same types of things. And yeah, I go to church and I pay my tithes and I do what I need to do do you know why is it that uh god has not sent me my partner yet right why is it that when i meet these people i'm always unclear or i'm always confused about how they're moving you know um and how i don't pick up on them having you know ulterior motives or them wanting different things or different people why is it that i keep going through the situation it's very to say it's because you have not been tapping into your intuition for you you know because you're coming from this um christian background because you're coming from a more um christian basis you're not really feeding into the spiritual part of yourself and you're not tapping into that intuitive nature that you do have okay so someone here has intuitive eyes you have uh the power of of tapping in um and paying attention to how you feel and moving on that right it's not just your gut it's your higher self that's trying to lead you and to guide you now and someone here may may feel like that doesn't really make sense to the dynamic of their life or the things that they've been taught or the things that they're learning now right Spirit is saying faith is faith, right? You walk by faith, not by sight. So this is the same thing that is true for either religion or for uh, spirituality, right? Unity is unity. Wholeness is wholeness, right? So it's nothing wrong with you, right? You just have to get in tune with yourself here. This is someone that needs to tap into their own energies um, to be able to, to, uh, to guide themselves at this point, okay? Um, so, yeah, in a situation where, you know, you may have got yourself into something or may feel really strongly about a person that just does not want you only. They want someone else. There's nothing wrong with you. This person has um, their free will. This person can do what they need to do. However, if this person is still stuck on past things that happened to them, and that is what is keeping them from wanting a committed situation, then they need to, to deal with that on their own. They need to work on their faith, their unity, their wholeness, aside from you, okay? So I don't know which side this is for. I don't know if this is the person pulling on your energy, Capricorn, or if this is your energy. Um, but yeah, you know. Um, someone wants to work on themselves to come back towards someone, but in this sense, I feel like um, someone just needs to work on themselves, okay? The Tower card is here, right? And Page of Cups. Now, when it comes to this Tower card energy, someone may be getting a rude awakening or someone is going to see this situation, right? I feel like the person that is coming through here um, I feel like they were not told totally how a person moves. They may have just been um, spoon fed. Yeah, thank you, spirit. So in other words, someone may have brought up, up the conversation of maybe having a poly situation with someone. Right. But they didn't dig deep and they didn't um, let the person really know, like, this is how I'm trying to move only going forward. So the tower moment is going to be for someone that is finding out, you know, how this person is really trying to move and them having to deal with it. Oh, so you're really not trying to be in a relationship with me or you're really not trying to do this after I've been here for all this time. Or you're really not trying to have, you know, this life with me. I feel like it's going to destroy someone uh, mentally, physically, okay? It's going to destroy someone's faith because they're going to feel like they've done something wrong or that something is wrong with them in the interim. And I feel like 
initially someone's going to see this as something as a, a, a sense of catastrophe but what it really is it's a clearing out okay spirit is coming in to clear out this energy and saying yo you don't need to be around someone you don't have to fight for a position you don't have to um make yourself uh, indulge in situations uh, for other people's pleasure and you don't have to put yourself in situations that don't feel good to you you don't have to be unclear confused right you don't have to feel like everybody's talking about you because you look a certain way out here in these streets right intuitively you know what's going on you're just not listening and intuitively you know that this person may have been a player or may have been somebody that was out there doing them before you got this attached to them i really do feel that okay um someone may be having an epiphany now as i'm talking right because the realization is that you might have known this and may have felt it may have nixed it off and may have said no 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 this person is not like that right page of cups energy is here this person could have been offering love outside of you right this person can have a baby on the way um, because they're spreading love here, spreading love there. Could be that they have a baby with you or you could be pregnant for someone here, okay? Just, just take it how it resonates. That's not for everyone. But I feel like exploring emotions. Someone wants to be able to explore their emotions freely, right? They want to be able to give to people. They want to have, you know, crushes and they want to, you know, wine and dine and, and go out here and just be free. Um, and I feel like um, someone here was looking for something that was more based in, in a commitment and it's just not um, coming through for them. This does not mean that you're not going to have this going forward. It just means that this person that you're trying to have it with now is just not the person for you, my loves. Someone's going to be finding out about someone this summer. We're going into summer soon. Uh, so just keep your eyes and ears open. I do apologize for giving you this information. But someone here, you know, has been being naive to the energies of another person and not listening to your intuition. But spirit is going to open your eyes and show you who this person really is and why, um, you know, they're not a good, viable uh, prospect for you. Okay, so I'm sending you guys love and light. You guys take care.